Hi, this is Coach James from the Bullpen Baseball Softball Academy in Lake Elsinore. And this is a very quick introduction to slow motion video analysis. What slow motion video analysis can do for you and your player. And we have Jamie Clark um, kind of linked up on the left-hand side of the screen and Kelly Wilkerson on the right. And this is just a quick demo. Um, these are both um, really good college players and you know, just to kind of show you how we link them up at 60 frames every second and kind of what we do for your player is we put your player um, up on the left or right-hand side of the screen. As you can see, we can we can turn these hitters around to hit left-handed or right-handed and kind of look at the similarities and the differences and some of the fundamental concepts that we find in all swings. I know some people... Um, may want to, you know, kind of say that there's some different fundamentals and why would, you know, do all high-level hitters really look the same? Are they doing things the same? And, well, the answer to that is yes for a number of reasons. And the first reason is timing. When we talk about timing, the time it takes for a pitch and fast pitch softball to get from the pitcher's hand into your zone. And then the time it takes to launch a barrel. Um from the start of the swing down into the ball. So what I've done here now is I brought Jenny Jenny Finch up on the left and Jessica Mendoza on the right. We're just going to quickly go through one of the simple concepts. It's a very important concept when you talk about fast pitch softball. When you when you talk about baseball also, you know, the timing is actually really similar for both of them. But what we do is um, we kind of notice – Jenny, as Jenny goes into toe touch on the front side, we see her barrel kind of loading in this direction. Same thing with Jessica. She'll load here. We're looking for toe touch on the front side, which is basically when the load stops, which is what I'm saying is that as she, she gets into toe touch, we'll begin to see the bat unload this way. And the same thing as Jessica gets into toe touch, we'll see the bat unload this way. And we're talking about timing, just how long does it take to launch a bat down into the ball. And so I'm going to actually get through this really quick because I do want to bring up a few students just to kind of see what you know we can do with your players and how this type of video analysis will help out your player and so right about right right here I'm going to back it up one right about okay so on this frame right here we're going to finally see the bats begin to unload this direction we're going to begin to see the bat unload this direction. We'll begin to see the knobs start to turn down in. We'll begin to see the middles, middle turn in here. This type of action here. We see the back foot spin off this way. Um, I'm going to put this on here so I don't forget. We are going to come back to kind of the action of the action of the back foot here mm, to better. Um, let me just throw this on there to to better see what's happening so right about this point here we're just going to watch the bat unload and a lot of similarities here um as we take this through so we'll count frames one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven it's so it's it's always in between 10 and 12 frames so you're talking about 0.15 seconds. You're talking about one sixth of a second to launch the bat down into the ball. And these are very similar numbers um, for baseball. To be honest with you, they're extremely similar numbers to baseball. I won't get into that now, but trust me, you can go online. Uh, most video cameras record at 30 frames every second. So you're talking about in between five and six frames on your normal video recorder. This software that I have right here breaks those normal frames into two frames. So we get 60 frames every second. And we're able to really see how the ball how the how the how the bat is launched through i i i asked you to look down here on the bottom see some of the similarities that we see on the back foot we never see the squishing of the bug type motion where the heels going behind the foot all we do is simply see a function of the middle turning through and the back leg turning down in as the middle turns through it as this begins to to kind of rotate through so you watch the watch the back foot here and you see the back foot turn down and through. So I'm going to stop right there. I'm going to bring up one of my students. Now, this is just some of the similarities. Slow motion video really is a tremendous tool. So what I've done here is brought up um, 
player from one of the local high schools. She's going to be a senior this year. And just to see how we link it up, to see the similarities and the differences. I'm, I'm not going to get into it too much about similarities and differences because I don't want to necessarily kind of work over these hitters online. But I do want you to notice there's a, a lot of really good things going on in these swings that we're about to see. So this is another one of my students. She's linked up with Stacy Newman. And what I try to do is try to match up the pitch location on each hitters because you will see um, some fundamentally kind of different things. Definitely posture when you're talking about pitch location. So, um, so we just kind of link it up and take a look at it. What we're able to do, we're able to kind of just really see, kind of easily see, you know, some of the some of the fundamental parts of it we notice watch this gap here as they turn through watch as stacy turns this through you don't see any of the launching of the hands coming first you basically see the same gap between the shoulder and hands here that you did at the very beginning and those are just some of the things you know that we look for disconnection early we look for you know how the middle turns through we look to make sure you know there's no spinning out type motion here on the front foot and Basically, really easy things to see. Now, this girl's going to college next year. She's got some good things going on. And bring up another student real quick. We brought up Jessica, Men Jessica Mendoza on the left and an another one of my hitters on the right-hand side. One more hitter that's off to college this year as well. And what we're able to do is um, just really kind of break it down. Take a look at what's going on. Take a look at what's working well and what's not working well, basically, if you can emulate the high-level swing, um, you're, you're, you know, you will, em you will emulate the results of the high-level swing. Pretty easy concept. Um, bring up one more. So be, this will be the last student that I kind of bring up. The students on the left-hand side of the screen, and um, I'll be able to show you real quick. All I do is advance both the hitters down into contact, and from there. I'm able to link them up. So now when they move that, you know, they basically move together and we're able to, in very slow motion, be, be able to catch basically everything going on in the swing. This hitter on the left-hand side of the screen is, um, should be a sophomore this coming up year. And um, she's doing some really good things. She's making, making some progress on another video that you have access to kind of on the same page where you're finding this video is a video called bat drag that I created with some of the inefficiencies that are easily seen in in slow motion video and and how to fix those inefficiencies some before and after photos and might show a little bit more value of um of slow motion video than kind of what we're seeing here because I'm not going to begin to begin to create these types of lines and stuff through here you know kind of looking at you know, really, this this hitter's doing some good stuff. There's, you know, she's um, creating some really good movements that we see here. But I, I'm I'm not going to bring my students up kind of here and, you know, necessarily go through some of the inefficiencies that they're kind of working on. Although this kid's made some big progress and she looks really good. But take a look at the bat drag video and you'll see some more information on slow motion video. But I'd like to work with um, any and all of you that happen to be watching this right now. Slow motion video is really a big tool. It's a huge tool. I'm going to say it again. Um, if you can see it in the high level swing, you might want to get it in yours. If you don't see it in the high level swing, you may not want to be working on that. And so video doesn't lie. It's very authentic. It's right in front of you. Black and white really helps the coach or instructor to get across the point. There's no, um, where you're telling a player to do something. They're looking at you in the eyes and going, am I really doing it? Well, we bring up the video and there's no doubt about it. You know, the real, um, kind of recognition in their eyes when they're watching the video, when they're watching themselves and they create these movements is, um, it's worth every penny. And so video doesn't lie. And it's a good way to get people motivated to really get detailed, really kind of focus in on, on what they individually need to work on. So thank you very much for your time. And I look forward to hearing, hearing from you.